You're watching Gear Up TV. Welcome to this week's show. We are delighted a video we did for our client Private Fly helped Orion's Aviation sell a beautiful PC-12 to entrepreneur Neil Armstrong who saw it on Private Fly's YouTube channel and consequently contacted Edwin as part of his research into the aircraft he wanted to buy. The handover took place at Goodwood this week. Yeah, because I was reading a little bit about the aircraft and as you say it can land on grass, it can land on a very short runway on gravel as well. So Absolutely. I imagine that's one of the main selling points, its versatility. Well, it's funny you say that. The launch customer was actually the Australian Royal Flying Doctor Service back in 1994 and they wanted a very tough, rugged aircraft that can land on in the outback in the middle of nowhere in Australia. And Neil, I imagine, was that one of the deciding factors for you in, in selecting this aircraft? Um, absolutely. It's, it's a wonderful aircraft. It's very versatile. It gets you closer to destination. It's very economically viable. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's an extremely safe aircraft, so it wasn't a very hard decision to make. From the PC-12, we move to Israeli startup Eviation. Eviation basically builds a new solution to regional transport. Uh, we see ourselves as a, a new player for anyone who wants to travel anything between 100 and 600 miles. We want to get us all flying on light, all-electric aircraft. And we believe that we will be able to do this both energy efficiently and uh, very, very cheap compared to anything else that exists today. What enables aviation to reach uh, its goals is two main components. The first is a very high density energy battery and the second is a very efficient aerodynamic design uh, that we made from scratch. One of the things we found is that through 3D printing and uh, as it's called today, additive manufacturing, uh, we were able to take a lot of our designs and put them to the test way before the stages of investing the kind of money needed to build an actual, uh, let's say, certifiable or even just an actual permit to fly kind of, uh, of solution. Another clean sheet design flew for the first time this week. Dasso's Falcon 5X performed a two hour maiden sortie from the firm's Bordeaux Merignac final assembly facility with test pilots Philippe Delume and Philippe Robourg at the controls. The aircraft will go into full flight test certification next year. Talking Dasso, if you're watching this on Friday, its communications head Vadim Felzer is joining London City Airport's Kevin Winsel and Volker Tamala of Aerobuzz, among many others, to raise money for Richard House, which supports children with life-limiting conditions. There's a link underneath the video where you can donate to this very worthy course. That's it for this week. Enjoy our last landing from Toothfin's service cell of the PC-12, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching Gear Up TV. Remember to like and subscribe to see more.